Dear friends, I just want to share with you something about these two telescopes. This is a 16 inches telescope. That is to say, the aperture, the objective lens, you can see is very big, 16 inches. This one is 9.25 inches. Unfortunately, now is a COVID-19 pandemic, so we cannot go out together. We used to go to Hot Spring, a, uh, a golf club in Tawau to look at the stars and also sing on the future St. Nicholas Chapel to look at the stars. But as it is now, it's not safe to go out in a big crowd because of COVID-19 pandemic. However, a, now we can still take pictures of the night sky with our telescopes. So, uh, with the technical and professional skills of uh, Mr. Stewart Lai and his two sons, we have already taken a picture of the globular cluster Omega Sanctuary in the southern sky. Tonight, if you look at the southern sky, you will see the southern cross. That is, you can see it also in the flag of Australia and New Zealand with the two stars, one of which the lower one is the nearest star, uh, 4.2 light years away. Now, a, just a few nights ago, we took a picture of Omega Sanctuary, a globular cluster. A globular cluster is a ball, a globe of stars. And this globular cluster is very special. It is 10 times bigger than an average globular cluster. 10 times bigger than an average globular cluster. It contains 10 million stars, 10 million stars in one ball. And it is 16,000 light years away. Light travels at a speed of 806, 860 miles, one second, one second, tuck, tuck, one second. It can go round the Earth seven and a half times, 860,000 uh, miles per second. So imagine, so imagine uh, a uh, uh, 16,000 light years away. Imagine how far it is. Uh, how old is this? About 12 billion years old. As old as the universe. The universe is 13.5 billion years old. But Omega Sanctuary is about 12 billion years old. As old as the universe and as old as our Milky Way galaxy, because our Milky Way galaxy also about 12 billion years old. So it's very old. And in fact, you can, if, the, if you are in a place where it is very dark and very clear, no cloud, no moon, very dark, very clear, you can see it even with your naked eye. You can see it with naked eye. Anyway, we took a picture of it and we can show you. We also took a picture of a Ori Nebula. Tonight, if you look a, a west, about 45 degrees up, and after sunset, you can see the Ori Nebula. Nebula in Greek means a cloud, but not a ordinary cloud, a cloud of gas and stars, cloud of gas and stars, evolving into stars. In the Orion Nebula, we also have taken a picture of it. In the Orion Nebula, a, you can see a. Uh, it's very bright. Why? Because four of the newborn stars, four of the newborn stars, they are only about a million years old because uh, very young, very young. But because they are just born, they are very bright, and that what lights up the four stars called the Trapezium. You can see them in the picture I will show you. Uh, it lights up the whole Ori Nebula. The whole gas and dust light are lighted up by them. But it's not only four stars being born. Thousands of stars being born. Even several thousands of stars being born. But we cannot see all of them because they are hidden behind that cloud, that nebula uh, of gas and dust. Uh. But this is very important because Right there, right now, the only, of course, in the universe, a lot of stars are being born and all, but that's the only place where we can see with a telescope or even with naked eye. Stars being born, suns being born, solar system being born, moon being born, planets being born, huh? 
a, a uh, right there, you, tonight you can see about after sunset, 45 degrees from here. So we have taken the picture of that to show you. And then we also taken the, and of course Orang Nebula is very far away, a 1,500 light years away, 1,500 light years away. Light had to travel 1,500 years to reach it. It's very far away. In the same, Orion Nebula, of course, is found in the constellation of Orion. But there we took another picture that is Betelgeuse, the biggest star, is in, in the constellation of Orion, the hunter. Uh, Betelgeuse is a red star. Tonight you can see also. It is very big, 700 times the diameter of the sun. 700 times the diameter of the sun. How far, how far away it is? 650 light years. It takes like 650 years to reach there. Now, how old it is? It is very young. Only 10 million years old. Our sun is 5 billion years old. 5,000 million years old. But Betelgeuse is 10 million years old. So it will die. Anytime it will die. Uh, it won't live long because it is a super giant star. It cannot live long uh, uh, because of the heat, the pressure. It will explode into a supernova, leave a black hole behind. But the most important thing is that, the most important thing is that, our sun can only turn hydrogen into helium. Super giant star like Betelgeuse, if they can turn hydrogen into helium, helium into carbon, carbon into oxygen, uh, and all the heavy elements up to iron. Why is that important? 65% of our body weight is oxygen, 18% carbon, 3.3% nitrogen, 10% hydrogen. All these are manufactured in the supergiant stars like Betelgeuse. Our sun cannot do that. This is very important because it has to do with us. Of course, it's important. If no supergiant star, you won't, I won't be standing here. You won't be sitting there. Uh, you see, huh? And then another another important uh, point, uh, we have also taken pictures of the moon, uh, of the planets, uh, Jupiter, Saturn. And then now, in fact, we are thinking of taking a picture. Of course, Andromeda galaxy is not around now. We want to take a picture of the Whirlpool galaxy. Tonight, in the northern sky, in the northern sky, in the constellation of the of the Big Bay, or they say a uh, 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 Ursus Major, or popular word, the Big Deeper, a uh, deeper we get water from deeper. The deeper is in water. At the tip of the tail, at the tip of the head, at the at the end, at the tip of the handle of the of the deeper, near there you will find the whirlpool galaxy. It's two galaxies, it's very beautiful because it is face on, it is face on. Unlike Andromeda galaxy, it is not face on. Uh, 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 this one is face on, it's very beautiful. It contains 100 billion stars, just like our Milky Way galaxy. Tonight, of course, you can also see the Milky Way galaxy. Uh, 100 billion stars, how far away it is? Very, very far. 23 million light years away. Androm galaxy, Andromeda galaxy is only 3 million years away. But the Whirlpool galaxy is 23 million light years away. But it is very young, only 4 million years. Our galaxy, Milky Way, is 12 billion years. The one is only 4, uh, 400, 400 million years. So very young, very, very young. There are many, many pictures we want to take, but uh, in Tawa it's very hard, you know why? Every time cloudy, uh, every time cloudy, we need a clear sky to take good pictures. Many pictures also uh, we have to take of uh, moon, planets, uh, stars, uh, uh, globular clusters, galaxies, and also what you call it, uh, uh, nebulas. Uh, nebulas are uh, gas and dust where young stars are being born. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, 
uh, a uh, hope one day we can come together to look at the sky without watching video, but to look at the real thing. Uh, don't forget, don't forget, whether you are born before Christ or whether you are born after Christ, whether you are in the US or whether you are in Tawau or Sandakan or whether you are in Singapore, we look up, it's the same sky, the same sky, the same sky. So we are connected. Now COVID-19, we are separated, we can't go out. But you look up the sky, then we are all together under the same sky, we see the same thing. Whether you are born before Christ, 10,000 years before Christ, or 2,000 years after Christ, it's the same sky. Uh, and whether you are born in America or China or Tawau, it's the same sky. We are united under one sky. So thank you again for watching this video. God bless you.